Good morning everyone and welcome to another weekend vlog. We don't really have a lot planned this weekend. Friends coming in about this morning, then we need to go and do a food shop and then we're hopefully going to go and see Fast and Furious 8 tonight finally. So a bit of a date night tonight hopefully. I've just spent the morning lying in bed watching YouTube. I've got some washing I need to fold. I've got a massive iron pile that I need to do but probably not going to get done because I hate ironing but yeah that's pretty much it tomorrow we've got friends coming over so just a chilled out Sunday probably but yeah just thought I'd take you along with us on our weekend journey like I said I've got a load of washing I need to fold and probably put another wash on so I'm just going to crack on with that probably FaceTime my parents and I will catch you all in a bit So that is laundry folded, dishes done, dishes put away. Glenn has just pulled up outside, but he's just gone over to the butchers to do a meat run. So he probably won't be back for like half an hour because he spends forever over there talking to the guy. And then we need to go and do the rest of the food shop. We have a butcher's literally over the road from our house. So we always just do a meat run there. It works out pretty much the same as buying it in the supermarket. I'm just going to have 5-10 minutes, maybe watch a bit of YouTube, watch a video or two. And then I'm going to get ready so we can go food shopping. The joys. Glenn is back home right now. I'm back in the butchers. So we've got six normal sausages, six cumberland. There's two set aside for breakfast tomorrow. A massive white pudding ring. If you've never tried it, if you like stuffing, you'll like this. I don't like stuffing but I just think it tastes like sausage. Two lots of pork mince, four chicken breasts and 12 free range eggs. We do need to pick up some bacon in our shop because he didn't have any. But yeah, Glenn's just gonna jump in the shower. I'm just gonna get ready and then we are heading food shopping. We are just after Aldi. Glenn is finally home, changed. Did you have a good day? Yeah, it's all right. We're going to go it's fine. Try. Hopefully Aldi isn't gonna be too busy. It is two o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. I was afternoon, about to say, you're so so a bit optimistic. Our aim is half an hour, in and out. <laughs> we did it 20 last time. Yeah, but last time it was like in the middle of the afternoon after school, so it wasn't that busy. Mm, true. So, it could be... Interesting, so at least. A bit longer. We don't need a lot though, so... But then again, we never need a lot and... <laughs> we always come out with more than what we need. Inferior to shopping, I think, was his great thing he called it. True. And then we are off to see Fast and Furious there. Yeah. We are home now. All unpacked. So Let's see what we got. Start off over here. Two bottles of Coke. Friends, friends come tomorrow and all drink of Coke. So two bottles of Coke, two bottles of lemonade, two bottles of strawberry and apple squash. Tropical juice for me. Apple and raspberry for plain. Fabric conditioner. Pomegranate. Washing up liquid. Some bleach. Some crisp for lunch. And Glenn will probably take the rest for his lunch at work. Some more eggs because these ones I'll use to bake, whereas the other ones I won't. Fresh mozzarella, cheese, grated mozzarella, sunflower, veg oil, pack of limes to put in the lemonade, 
pork mince and turkey mince because the butcher didn't have any. Also some bacon for breakfast because the butcher didn't have any. Roast turkey, chicken, breaded ham and some other ham for Ben's lunch. Sausage rolls, cereal bars for me, chocolate chips for bacon, biscuits and crackers. One of the bread and cupboard bit, some tea batters for lunch. Two lots of bread, one for now, one for the freezer. Brioche burger buns, muffins, brioche chocolate chips for lunch and breakfast and whatever. Brioche hot dog rolls, but oh, we've got the hot dogs. Cocoa Pops, ice and sugar again for bacon. Two lots of beans or sausages, two lots of normal beans, two lots of tomatoes, two lots of pasta and one of these which i can't say parents tried them before i haven't we thought we'd try them some potatoes two lots of chips garlic bread spices some tropical ice lollies because i'm five pizza subs these are mainly for when Gwen's away i don't really like good gum when Gwen's away so they're for, for when Gwen's away pepperoni Double pepperoni, tritzel pizza for Bren and cheese pizza for me. Well that came to £60. Oh, I also got some chocolate for the cinema tonight. Yeah, now to put it all away and make lunch. Furious. What did you think? <laughs> it was really good. Like everyone was saying, like it was too unrealistic. I mean, there were a few bits, but I say it's more futuristic. Like with the cars being like, spoiler, car, yeah, the cars spoiler. being hacked and that. You know, I mean, yeah, okay, it's far fetched, but with the way tech's going these days, it's definitely possible. Um, yeah, but apart from that, okay, there was kind of crazy bits, but no, it was awful. It was just a good film. Really good. It was really good. Yeah. yeah. It was way better than what people were making up. People were making up that it was really crap. I do think they should leave it there, though. But if they're still going like two more, I don't see what they yeah. can do. Yeah. 
But oh, everyone's on good terms. They need to bring in another bad guy unless they sort of bring in, like, unless they carry on with what they got. Yeah, but they haven't really. Like, obviously, the end of seven, it was like, how are they going to continue mm. without them? But they haven't really left it on a cliffhanger. They've kind no, of left no, it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, spoiler alert. Um, the only sort of cliffhanger they've left is obviously where that woman jumped out of the plane and that was it. So that's the only sort of. Cliffhanger. Yeah, like, does she die, does she not, kind of thing. But. I don't know. I think if they left it there, then. Like. I think that'd be it'd good. be fine, yeah. yeah. It's a good ending. But I, I finished leaving there. Let's go back to like Japan, like with that dude, like the cowboy dude in Japan. Possibly, possibly. Whoops, sorry, not. But yeah, there were some good trailers. King Arthur looked really good. Oh, well, I love fantasy stuff anyway, so that, that looks awesome. Glenn that, learned that I've never seen any Paris, of the Power of the Powers of Being. I was so disappointed. And he said, if you'd have known that before you asked me to marry him, you wouldn't have asked me to marry him. I was joking, then. But maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> so, yeah, that's they, one. They are good films, but to be honest, like, from looking at that trailer, you don't need to see the others. There's no continuous storyline, so you can see that one. Yeah. You know, I just enjoy that one. If you enjoy that one, then you can watch the other ones. That might have to be one that he doesn't see with his brother. Along with like Star Wars, man. Well, obviously, there was another yeah. one we wanted to see. Um, yeah. Not Star Wars. No, we no, 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 a trailer today. There's another one. Oh, um, yeah. Because that good, we can remember it. Well, because the King Arthur trailer was on twice. So. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, we're, we're nearly home. Um, I have no we're... idea what we're going to do. Just chill. I'll probably watch telly, I'll probably watch YouTube. Unless there's something we want to watch together. Which... Yeah, well, Mrs. Brown's not on tonight, that's finished, isn't it? Yeah, so. It might be a case of just chilling, really. Maybe food. I'm not that hungry, though. No, I was going to say, I'm... Yeah, not that hungry, so... We'll get me tonight. Yeah, we shall see. We've been home for about a couple of hours now, maybe. Yeah, about an hour, hour and a half. We were just watching Forge with Fire. I'm just going to take my face off now. I have to excuse the lighting. Our bedroom lighting is quite yellow, as you can tell. So yeah, I'm just going to take my makeup off, then probably get into bed and watch some YouTube. Glenn's currently watching The Deadliest Catch. I'm not the biggest fan, so I'll probably lie in bed and watch some YouTube until he comes to bed. First thing I'm going to use is just some micellar water. I didn't really have a lot of makeup on today. I just had a bit of foundation, a bit of concealer on my skull. Didn't really want to wear a lot. My skin's a bit hit and miss at the minute. I've got a few spots. Nothing major though. So yeah, didn't really feel like I needed a lot of makeup just a little bit to make me look a little bit more human we ended up not getting any dinner we had quite a late lunch you've seen earlier what we had I did have popcorn at the cinema and I had some of these which I've got a few left which I might eat whilst watching YouTube but basically Aldi's Oh, I should have all those. They're like 85p a bag or something, but they do milk chocolate, dark chocolate, um, salted caramel and peanut centers. So if you've got an Aldi, it might be worth trying them out. Next, I'm going to use Pixie Glow Tonic. I had like a mini one of these that came in the Tilly box that my sister gave me. And I've tried the Freedom one before, and I think the Freedom one is just as good. The Freedom one's like six pound a bottle, and I think it is just as good. So, I mean, my sister gave me that one as well. So I probably wouldn't buy a full size one. I'd probably pay the six pound and get 
the freedom one because I can't really tell the difference to be honest. I'm not a big skincare fan. I mean, makeup, my sister's in skincare, so I normally just get all my tips and tricks from her. Next, I'm going to use the Lancome. It's like this. The Soothing and Plumping Lotion. I find this just helps my skin look just that little bit more alive in the morning. It does just help add some like moisture back into my skin. Next thing I'm going to use is like gly Glyconic Overnight Peel from Superdrug. Superdrug do really good skin like their own range and like I mentioned I've got a few just spots and stuff around here a lot of them is just like red kind of not scarring but just red marks I find this really helps just to soothe them make them less red I don't have a night cream at the minute so I'm just using renewed hope in a jar I find it works fine as a night cream I think it does actually say you can use it morning and night, but this is just a little like, mini sample. I did have the full size one and used it all up. I personally like this one better than Hope in a Jar. It's quite, it is quite thick, but it does absorb like quite quickly. And again, I find it does really help moisturize. And that is pretty much it. I'm probably just gonna leave my hair tied up. If you watched any of my previous videos, you will <laughs> notice that I have had my hair done. I had it done yesterday. I've had about four inches maybe cut off. A bit of a side fringe part and put in. But I do need to style it properly, either like run over the, with the straighteners or whatever. But because today was pretty much just an errands day and then cinema, I wasn't really too fussed about doing it. I'm going to end today here and I will catch you all in the morning.
see from the footage already. It is now three o'clock and we have just had chilled that morning really, had breakfast, watched some YouTube, Glenn's been watching some fishing programme thing, some sea fishing programme. And I've been just tidying the living room. His friend is on his way up now and I'm just going to carry on tidying the house. I need to finish. I've just got the like my desk area to do in the living room. Then in the kitchen, all the dishes from breakfast and stuff. And then I need to tidy the bedroom. I'm not going to put a face on today. I've literally got leggings and my loungewear for life jumper on, which is the Anna and Lily collaboration with Look Good Feel Better. But yeah, I'm just going to get crack on with tidying whilst the boys watch the football. So I'll speak to you all in a bit. has gone home now. It's now 20 past 8. Me and Glenn have just played a game of FIFA. But Glenn beat me 4 0. I was playing quite well to start with. You were, kind of. Kind of. It's in your bag. Your work bag. Mm -hmm. Now we are just waiting for a takeaway because it's Sunday, we didn't know what we were doing for dinner, so Glenn is having meat and chips. And I'm having chicken nuggets and chips because I don't do kebab. And you're about 10 years old. And like I said, I'm about 10. Then I'm guessing you'll carry on on playing FIFA. Well, no. Until the takeaway turns up. Then we'll probably watch something on telly. Yeah. True yeah. Geordie's got a new video out there, that's good. True Geordie has got a new video out which looks good, so that'll probably be going on the TV in a minute. Apart from that, not a lot has happened today. Been quite a chilled one. Glenn's watched countless episodes Dead, of Deadliest Catch. Deadliest Catch, which actually it is quite good. <laughs> I will give him that. We just wait for our takeaway, and then it'll be food and bed. We've just finished dinner. It's currently twenty past nine. I'm just making Glenn's packing up for tomorrow, and just got. Like, finish the vlog here because I'm literally going to make this then get sorted for bed and watch some YouTube and go to sleep so yeah not a lot has happened <laughs> this weekend as you'll be able to see but I thought I'd just do a bit of a weekend vlog they're currently balancing on my food mixer on a tripod so sorry about the angle didn't get much done today I ended up watching the football with the boys and just chilling out really the only thing left to do in the living room is hoover the floor the kitchen needs a good clean from like top to bottom I need to steam up the floor and stuff I need to hoover all the carpets in the house and I've got a little laundry to put away and I still have that pile of iron I do. I hope you've enjoyed this weekend vlog. If you have any video recommendations, anything you'd like to see, then leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Share it with your friends and family. I will see you all in my next weekend vlog or my next upload, which I think is going to be a morning routine maybe. I'm gonna end it here. 
and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching.